Hey there, YouTube world. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's having them a good day today. It's a beautiful day here in Iola, Texas. It's a Saturday afternoon. And uh, we're getting ready for some supper around here tonight. My family's coming over to eat. And I am uh, going to go ahead. Y'all know I like to make my desserts and get them done. So uh, we're going to be cooking um, like a pork butt out on the pit and making... You know, the regular kind of thing going with it. Baked beans and potato salad and all that kind of stuff to go with it. But um, for our dessert, I went and dug in the freezer and got out a gallon Ziploc baggie, y'all, of my... They're still frozen a little bit of my berries that I picked last year. So I'm going to make us a uh, skillet berry cobbler in here. And I'm going to do it with my cast iron skillet, okay? I want to do it in there, and it makes such a great crust on it and everything and all. And uh, really, this is easy, and I'm going to show y'all how to do it with the bulk crust. I've showed y'all many times how to make pie crust, but don't think that I am above going out and buying me some crust when I want to get something done or I'm tired or whatever and stuff. These things work perfect for me. It's just good to know how to make one if you don't have these, right? So, we're going to use a pair of them. We're going to use one for the bottom and one for the top, okay? But before we do any of that, I want to get started on showing y'all what we got to mix up here. First off, I've got my oven preheated at uh, 365 degrees, okay? So, I'm going to do that first and uh, let that heat up. I've got my berries, and y'all, it's never a science for me, right? But I'm going to say this is about six big cups of berries in here. You just have to measure it out. You know, you have to figure out, even if you got to pour them in here to find out, you know, how many berries you need. But, like, you know, this is like a 12-inch skillet, and so... I'm going to put as many berries in there as I can. But if you have to and you you worried about it or whatever, dump them in there and, and mound it up because they're going to cook down, okay? So give yourself a little room for them to cook down in there. Um, but uh, like I say, I just dumped that whole gallon bag that I had picked in the freezer in there. And I, and I think it's about six big cups, okay? So we're just going to say... For grins, six big cups of berries. All right. Now, the next thing I got to do is I'm going to melt me some butter. I've got me a stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and zap that in the microwave. Get that booger melting. Okay. I'm going to melt me some butter. And uh, I don't know if I can get them in that thing or not. I may have to get me a bowl here. <coughs> Just in case. I'm going to get my butter melted. And I have one and a half cups of sugar, y'all. I'm going to show you something I'm fixing to do, though. Okay, I got this bowl on the side. I'm going to take this sugar. One and a half cups of sugar, okay? Now, I need, I need me some flour. And, y'all, again, no science. My, my little scoop in my, in my flour, and this is just regular old all-purpose flour, okay? This one's a third cup. So, I'm going to take it. Yeah, my butter's melted. <laughs> okay, let me set this over here. All right, I got me a stick of butter melted, right? Okay, I'm going to take this third cup, and I'm just going to heap it. See? Let me see if I can get it. I mean, it's just a heaping cup, pretty much, of this third cup here or whatever. So you kind of guess what you want to do on that, okay? But that that should work <clears throat> good enough. A big old heaping third cup of all-purpose flour. Now, I'm going to dump it in with this sugar, okay? Because I want to go ahead and stir it up in this sugar, y'all. And this will help get lumps out of it when you start trying to mix it with your berries and stuff, okay? So if you uh, take your little whisk like this and, and stir it around in that sugar, 
it's gonna, uh, that sugar grinds it up like, makes it finer, and it mixes in, they incorporate together better. That's just something I like to do. You don't have to do it, but anyway, that's just one of them little, one of them little tips I like to tell people about. If you mix that sugar and flour together, it helps a whole lot on it not being lumpy when you go to mixing stuff, okay? All right, now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got me a cup and a half of sugar and a big old heaping third cup of flour in there, right? Let me get this out of my way. Now, I've got my stick of butter melted. My camera's lopsided. I've got my stick of butter melted here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that stick of butter in there. And get this mixed up as best as I can mix it, okay? What we're going to do is take this and we're going to put it over them berries in a minute. And coat them berries with this sugar and flour and butter. Okay. So see, it's, it's thick in there like this right now. Okay. Take it and kind of do like that, separate it out a little bit. If I can get it out of my whisk. Okay, all right, there went my oven. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna dump it over the top of my berries in here. Now, what I wanna do real quick, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and I'm gonna show you. Now that my oven's ready, I'm gonna take my skillet. And I'm gonna lightly spray it, y'all. Whoops, where's the corner dilly? Okay, there, we got a spray on it. And that helps it release out of there better, right? So we're just gonna take one of these here bought pie crust. And y'all, I do prefer the name brands on these if you can get them. If not, get what you can. And we're gonna put this booger down in here And it don't have to be all pretty down in there or nothing, y'all. Just let it kind of run up the sides like this or whatever you got to do. Put it down in there, okay? Now, I'm going to take me a fork. I'm going to poke me some holes in it. Okay? Holes. Done. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say five minutes, maybe a little longer or whatever, but we'll pop it in there for about five minutes and let this kind of get par-baked, okay? We're gonna work on that, and then we'll stir up on these berries a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll time it for five minutes, y'all, just for grins. Okay, there's that. Now, back to getting our berries coated with this all mixed together and it's gonna be all crumbly looking you know you just take it and get it mixed up in there uh, <clears throat> kind of distributed as evenly as you can and see how it's looking see how it's just all so I'm just gonna keep stirring it and get these coated as best as it'll do it and um, let that let that little pie crust par bake in there and then we'll come back and we will get the berries in our skillet and get it topped off and, and get this booger in the oven. Now one thing I forgot to mention was and this is one of those deals you don't have to do this and I had to be careful with it because Buzz you know in the cinnamon thing but I love to take just a pinch, and I do mean a pinch, y'all, because it'll override the berries. But if you can somehow get you just a little smidgen of cinnamon in there, 
it warms the berry flavor. That's all I'm doing, see? I mean, that is it. I ain't putting no more of that in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up in here while we're waiting on that crust, that bottom crust to, to bake up a little bit. Okay, y'all, I did it for three more minutes than that. I did it for about eight, yeah, about eight minutes in my oven now at 365. So remember, you know, you just you just barely, I mean, it's raw in there, but it's it's kind of dry right on the outside. Can you hear that? Okay. So now we're going to take, uh-oh, oops. Let me see if I can get it a little closer here. We're going to take our berries. See, look, they're sitting in there. See all the little butter blobs that have, because them berries were frozen, right? And seeing that juice is breaking down in there, but that's your butter and sugar and flour all in those little chunks like that. But now I'm just gonna take it and just pour it in here, easy like. And don't worry about your berries running over the edge of your crust in the bottom. That ain't nothing, that ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing there, y'all, okay? Now, let me get this thing out of my way. I'm gonna go ahead and do them like this, okay? Spread them out. See how that big six, big six cups, I'm gonna call it, six big cups, I don't know, uh, berries did uh, in that 12, cut, uh, 12 inch skillet. So that gives you an idea too, okay? All right, there's that. Now we're just gonna take, <laughs> if I can get it out of here. <laughs> Isn't this fun, y'all? Y'all like doing this? Making these old homemade things? Mm-mm-mm. I do. I hope y'all enjoy watching it. And that you will try making them. And let me know how it turned out for you. There we go. You know, it's best to get these out a little bit ahead of time so they'll unroll better and stuff. But, you know, y'all know I ain't about making it too pretty because I ain't no good at it. But as long as that booger tastes good, that's that's my main objective here. So I'm going to just unroll it and lay it across here, right? Okay. Look at that. That's the luxury of a store-bought pie crust right there, y'all. Absolutely. So I'm just going to take it and go around here. Poke my thing, poke it down in there a little bit. And just do the little thingamajiggy, right? The little, uh, I know there's a word for that, y'all, but we'll call it a thingamajiggy, okay? Do the thingamajiggy around the, ow, oh, around the edges. And the, pat, the skillet is hot, so be careful. Any of that that's hanging over, I just flip it over and put it in there. And that'll be good stuff. Skillet cobbler, y'all. And listen, you can do it with any of your other fruits from your freezer that you want or fresh fruits. Like I contemplated doing peach, but I went with the berry today. So, let me get that off my fingers. All right, so now... I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to put me some little air holes in it, right? Something, something, something like that. What do you think? We're going to call it on that. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is take me half a stick of butter, y'all. About half a stick. And I'm gonna go around here and I'm gonna put me some butter blobs on it. Y'all know how I am about my butter blobs on top of my pies. Oh, they just do it so good. So see, you got a whole stick in the, in the berries in there and then half a stick up here to melt down on your crust area. That'll just spread out and be Delicious on it. Mm 
Y'all, I love making them in the skillets. It does the crust so good. Okay, I'm gonna say that's close enough to half a stick, more or less, right? I mean, I'm just saying a half a stick, you know, whatever. You can put however much on there you want, I reckon. Okay. I actually wanted to put a little more liquid in there, y'all. See, this is how I can, how I flub up on these things. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not even going to take the chance. But before you put that crust on there, I would put me a little more liquid in there, like a, I don't know, about a quarter cup or something like that or whatever. But the thing that's saving me on this is the fact that they're frozen, and so that water comes out of them, and it, it creates water for me in there. So that's why I'm not worried about that I didn't, Put me a little bit of water on top of the berries before I put my top crust on it, okay? But keep that in mind. If they're not frozen and you have them fresh in there, make sure you add you some water before you put your top crust on. I don't know, about quarter of a cup to half a cup somewhere in there. You know, it'll set up. It'll set up when it cools. But okay, the last thing I'm going to do, y'all, I have me, I don't know, Probably about a dead burn quarter cup of sugar here. I'm going to sprinkle me a whole bunch on the top because that makes that crust so good. So good. Ah, uh, nah, I ain't going to put all that. I can tell. That's more than what I'm on. I got a quarter of a cup of it right here, but I'm going to put about half of that, okay? It don't need all that sugar on it. Y'all know how I love my sugar. But that's going to be... About half of that quarter cup I got right there, okay? There we go. There's that. Let me wipe my hands off. All right. We have this booger ready to go. Your oven is on 365, remember, and so I'm going to take it and put it in the oven and probably... I don't know, y'all. Ooh, I better get me a pan. There I am letting all my heat out, and now I forgot one other thing I wanted to show y'all. I ain't got my stuff together today. Let me pick this up and get it on this. First things first. There we go. Now, I got it on my... I should have done that to start with. But here's the last thing, y'all, your pie ring. If you don't have one, just use your foil. Y'all know I did that for years, and I've just so enjoyed having this pie ring. So enjoyed it. So there we go. I have my pie ring on. That saves the edges of your crust so much because they will burn before you can get your pie done and everything, and all your berries are cooked and all that. So now... We're going in the oven, I'm just guessing 40 to 45 minutes, something like that or whatever. I'll time it, we'll see what it does, and we'll come back and see how this skillet cobbler turned out. All righty, y'all, I just got her out of the oven. She's still a hot and bubbling. I'm gonna see if I can get this, see that little, that little uh, thing has that right there where I can pick that up off of it. Ooh, Nelly, take that out of the way. Looky there, y'all. Y'all think that ain't gonna be good when that booger settles down? Mm-hmm. And which, uh, okay, I did it. I set my timer for 45 minutes. I looked in there, I put it on, I set it for 10 more minutes. And then, y'all, I wanted to see a little more brown on there than what that even gave me, so I set it for 10 more minutes, so in actuality, in my oven at 365, it cooked for 65 minutes, okay? So we'll let it settle down and uh, let her cool off and get all our supper made tonight. And after a while, when we take it up, I'll video it for y'all and show y'all how it looks after it settles down and everything. I'm going to have a hard time staying out of this. If y'all could only smell them berries. All right, y'all. It's ready. Y'all look at this good stuff. Come show it, Mary. 
Let me see it again up close. I took a earlier picture of it and stuff, but we're just gonna dig down into it. I want y'all to see how it's, we got us some bowls going here. We done had our supper. Y'all check that out. Woo, Nelly. What you think, huh? What y'all think about that? Get down in here and get some of this crust. I'm gonna do it about like that. I reckon I don't need to make us a huge bowl, ain't it, Mary? What? <laughs> I don't know. Not too big. <laughs> right? <laughs> you get to putting too much in there, and we're just going to do it like that. Get us. What do you think? One or two scoops, Mary? Mm, I want two. Okay. We'll roll it across there and do two on it. A couple of scoops of the ice cream. Let me wash my hands off real quick. And this is the skillet cobbler, y'all. What do you think? Looking good? Look tasty? I'm gonna try it. I'll give it a try. I think I got to, right? All right, I got me a little bit of bite of everything in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Them old fresh pick berries, y'all. This is the way to do it right here. Skillet cobbler. I love you guys. Y'all give it a try. See you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.